This is um, David Carter reporting on uh, AM 1250. I appear to be one of the last survivors here in uh, in Tampa. This is um, WDAE AM radio. I'm reporting to anybody. I'm trying to just express. Is there anybody out there? Can anybody hear me? If anyone can pick up this radio broadcast, I don't know how, but I've been able to get the generator started because there's no power in the city. The transformer for WDAE still stands on top of the building, and I'm trying right now to reach out to anybody who could possibly have a portable radio, and they're listening to this broadcast. There is a survivor. There is somebody in Tampa who is here. If you can hear me, please call the station. If not, if you can, if you're in the city limits, try to get to the studios. Um, this is the one station I, I always have wanted to, to visit and I never thought a nuclear war would happen in, a, in America, but it has, and of all the places to survive a direct hit, it would be WDAE itself. I mean, the station's tower is standing, but it's, it's, it's pre precariously just there, you know, it's sort of like half of it's still there, half of it's kind of been blown down, but I'm still getting a signal out because the generators are still working, so I'm happy I can reach out to people. I don't know, I didn't see any other survivors when I made my way here after I, I left the parking garage, because that's where I was at when the, the bomb went off. We heard the sirens and people scampering all over to to get to some place where they could at least get down below the ground somewhere. But it's 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 eerie. There's this uh, this white ash just dropping all over the city right now. And I, I can't I can't tell from what I have seen if there are any other um, I don't know if there's any other survivors besides myself. I'm, I'm kind of scared to go out. I know how high the radiation must be. But if anybody's hearing this broadcast, again, please try some way to communicate. Try to get in here to the studios with me. Or if, if you have a cell phone or if something is still working, try to call. I don't have a cell phone myself. I, I lost it trying to find cover and I, I actually was trying to use it and then I saw the flash and I, I just ducked down into the, the parking garage so when I came out I saw the, the tower still standing here at the station at WDAE and I wanted to see if there was any way I could get the, the transmitter going maybe I could find somebody here who could tell me something about what's happening, but uh, nothing else seems to be functioning but the transmitter itself. None of the uh, none of the computers they have here at the station are working because it's all based on the uh, the landlines or the power lines of the uh, you know Tico Tampa Electric Company. All of that's down. I mean, there's nothing. The infrastructure is really gone. There's no visible power lines anywhere. There's no phone lines. 
So what I'm using, I think I'm lucky that I even have it to begin with. Some of the um, some of the other equipment here runs on the generators too. I've got I've got music I can play. I guess I I could just go to a record and at least do something else for a while if I get bored of trying to talk on the the mic here, hoping somebody out there in Tampa might hear this signal. It's just hard knowing that I could be the only one left alive in Tampa. There may not be anybody else except me. Somebody please call the station or come. Come to the station. Come to the studios. Because I'm here. I'm waiting. I'm hoping that someone else survived. Maybe people are still trapped inside basements. I mean, there are some bomb shelters I know in Atlanta, and there's some here in Tampa too. Some people must have survived in other cities, but you know, the, the majority of... I, I've tried to use this little port radio, portable radio to see if any other t radio or TV stations are airing things. And this is uh, WDAE, as far as I know, we're the all, this is the only other station I could figure. I mean, I know I'm transmitting. Everything shows that I am. I can even pick it up on this little radio. But um, I just, I don't know. I mean, is, is anybody else alive? Is there anybody else out there? If, you, if, you're, if you're hearing this, this broadcast right now, um... I'm here. Uh, I'll try to keep you um, entertained. I mean, what else can we do? I, 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 I found some food on the way here at one of the local convenience stores that still had some things scattered all over the ground. I've got some food here to survive on, but it isn't going to last indefinitely. I guess I'm hoping that some government truck will pull up and say, hey, we, we're from Fort McDill Air Force Base, uh, or from some military facility nearby here. Um, who knows if any of the outlying areas of Tampa survived. Not even sure if um, Tampa International Airport, it might have totally been wiped out. From what I could tell, there were multiple impacts, and that's what surprises me about about WDAE that it still even stands here. I look back. I remember how Ronald Reagan kept saying that um, we all are in this together. We have to have faith. We have to stand firm as a nation. And then this happens. And you think, would it, would it ever happen? Could it ever happen? And now it has. And you don't have an answer. You can't figure if, if, if Tampa was hit by a nuclear blast, then every other major city in the United States has gone too. All of the European nations are probably gone. Now, some of those people probably were smart enough. They knew they had bomb shelters. I think in the Czechoslovakia Republic, or what it was called Czechoslovakia, they had a bomb shelter they built sometime in the 60s, and they kept it operational. So maybe a few hundred people survived there. But I don't know if there is anybody else left. I think I'm going to try to put some music on and um, try to try to think what I should do next myself. If I can, I'll try to venture outside again, see if the ash is still coming down as bad as it was when I got here. Maybe I can look and see if I could maybe find more survivors. But I want to keep the station going as long as I can in the event other people know and can hear this broadcast, but there is no news to tell you because there's nothing I can pick up myself. I'm only doing this because I saw the station's 
tower was still halfway partially standing and I wanted to see if I could get anything going here and uh, this way I could get out a, an SOS to people. If, if the government's listening to this at any of the Air Force base or any government facility, if you can pick up this transmission, I'm here. So far, nobody else has been found yet. Nobody else has come here yet. So I could be the last one. 